the single most annoying topic that I struggled with the most for the longest time is motivation. Fuck, I struggled with it for so long. Um, yeah, at the beginning, my problems were with perfectionism. So I would be too perfectionistic about things I wanted to accomplish. So if it wasn't perfect, it wasn't good. And I would just find myself quitting all the time, like beginning things and quitting or setting my aim so high that I just fail and then stop. Uh, once I solved that, using the concept of you know my concept of setting habits using minimal aims and simply uh, search on YouTube Roby Frank habits or I have a full playlist for habits I've talked this idea to death about how to create perfect habits uh, I also wrote a guide by the way a short guide that I'll link in the description uh, for habits so I got that solved, and then my next problem was with me uh, basically starting something and then continuing with it all the way. And with that, the way I solved it was using commitments. So basically the problem was that the way I would go about goals, I would start things because it felt really, really awesome to start. Uh, but then when I would lose that motivation, I would simply stop uh, and move on to the next shiny object. So again, that was solved by bringing real skin in the game. So creating situations where I could not leave, like, you know, you start a project, um, setting a deadline or creating a situation where if I stop, there's a certain punishment. Uh, sometimes, you know, small, sometimes severe, but simply having skin in the game, that that's what solved it. And then finally, uh, this got me to the next level of success where, you know, I, I started projects and I was succeeding in them. And when you start making a lot of money, when everything goes amazing, when you see how strong you are, when you kind of live the life of abundance, you start sometimes, not everybody, but many people start to see how meaningless it is so you can no longer attribute uh, motivation to things like money just money for money because the illusion of amazingness is not there anymore you don't you know you're not going to get completed by money because you already you know had a lot of money and <laughs> you still didn't feel complete at all you know maybe more uh, relaxed and happy but not complete so that was a tough one. That that was a real tough one. That took a long time to solve. Like, okay, now that I'm not motivated anymore by, you know, getting stuff, how do I motivate myself again? And what I realized is I can motivate myself by uh, love and contribution. So, for example, when I'm in a relationship and I'm truly in love with the person I'm in a relationship with, I, all I want to do is make that person uh, happy and, and I want to make them proud and I want to make us work so um, in my current case my current relationship is my single biggest motivator uh, for everything that I do um, but even if you're not in a relationship you can still get extremely motivated by giving yourself to an ideal so uh, perhaps love perhaps uh, making other people happy so you need to shift the attention outside and you know when when getting stops motivating you you need to figure out how to give properly so that that's what's motivating you so that's just a quick summary of the three main motivational obstacles that i had to overcome again when you're a freaking perfectionist uh, basically read my habits guide um, link in the description and that's going to solve it for you. I guarantee that no matter where you are or how old you are or what's the thing you're trying to be, build a habit for. Um, second level is, okay, you have some basic competence. You believe in yourself to some extent, but then you always chase dreams and you always chase the passions and there's no groundness to it. So the next, you know, the moment something else becomes more shiny or the moment you're going to get into obstacles, you know, you, you even find yourself getting really, really good really fast, but then... Again, first major block, you just move on to the next thing. 
and uh, trust me, it's better to be a master of one thing than just really good at a lot of things. Uh, so again, the, 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 the way to solve that is by having skin in the game. It's approaching from, if it's a skill, then approaching it from a mastery perspective, uh, you know, just committing from the perspective that it's going to take a long, long, long time and you're ready to face the shit. And if it's just a, if it's a project or, you know, basically anything that requires a marathon thinking where, you know, you stay focused, you don't get distracted, you just follow the plan, again, get skin in the game. So, so there has to be a cost of failure. There has to be some sort of a commitment, you know, financial, spiritual, uh, social, just make sure you're committed to, in some way where the more ways the better, by the way. So the more people you say, for example, they tell you, don't tell anybody that, you know, you're going to do something. Look, no, tell everybody because now you're committed to doing it. Now, of course, you want to have at least like four or five um, really good reasons why you want to do it because some people will challenge you on it. But what I'm trying to say is that you want people to know it and you want people to know that you committed to doing it because you're now you're going to look like a fool if you don't do it. And the next level, if you really want to be committed, is again to have true skin in the game by choosing some sort of a punishment for not sticking to the goal. So for me, like I told you with my girlfriend, uh, we decided that I have to do 30 videos uh, in the this last two weeks. So uh, because of that, I'm uploading anywhere between one to four video, one to four videos uh, every day, pretty much. Uh, so I'm well on my way to reaching the goal of 30 videos in two weeks. And even though I didn't want to, even though I had major kind of like inner resistance, and the reason for that is that I've committed because I've said, okay, if I don't accomplish the goal, then I will bra smash my, my phone, I will delete permanently my permanently delete my YouTube channel with over 350 videos, and I'll also um, eat a big ball of wasabi, uh, which is the spicy food that you know you get in sushi, like really really spicy, and a horrible taste. So uh, th there you go. Here's as I said like a week and a half ago. Here's proof like it is working. Like uh, as you can see, I'm doing exactly what I said I would because I have skin in the game. So commitment, commitment, commitment. And again, finally, regarding intrinsic motivation, um, when you actually attain this certain level of success and you see how um, kind of the, the getting part is no longer motivating, then start focusing on the giving. Or even better yet, just find someone who you want to do good for, whether it's you a know, family member, a relationship, or your dog and uh, just do it for them so don't do it for you do it for them and um, I, I don't remember exactly the research that I read but uh, all the way from Andrew Carnegie and Think and Grow Rich up to recent books that I've read with uh, tons of uh, cited research they all say exclusively that it's basically having someone else having that special someone that you do everything for. So again, that's the quick summary of my three motivations. Hope you like it and check out the links in the description for more information and stuff for me. Talk soon.